Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. This video is being done primarily for those individuals who have tablets and tablets that are made by Chinese, especially the Micromax. You'll find that most of the tablets fall under the Micromax firmware. What you're going to do is you're going to go to firmwarefile.com. Okay, and you're going to type in what your quote unquote model number of your unit is. Okay, now some of you will notice that your Chinese brands don't have a name on it. Let's give you an example. Uh, since we're here, let's go and type in. And we don't want just anything. We're going to show you some of the, we're going to tell you some of the do's and don'ts because there's some things that a lot of people are sitting up here doing videos about old tablets. And let's just say you guys are having problems with rooting, you're having problems with your tablet reloading in its boots, and you don't know what to do. Now, there are two things. This method will not work if you're not able to get onto your desktop. Okay, this method will definitely let you know how to root your tablet. If you are having problems and your system is rebooting, reloading, I mean reloading, <laughs> rebooting or relooping, what you're going to have to do, that there are several ways to get into a tablet. Let's go ahead and get you guys uh, with the videos that you can take a look at. And I'll point out some of them that are worthwhile and I'll point out the problem with a lot of them. Okay. See, these are all these are also called tablets, but they're not tablets. Uh, we're talking about the Android tablets, the seven inch, ten inch screens. Those are the ones we're referring to in this particular video. But these are tablets too. Now, many people have used King Root. Okay, you want to get King Root from the King Root website. You don't want to get it from the off-brand site because those people usually tend to get viruses. What you also want to do, King Root is very good, but King Root is also one where you need to be in your computer's operating system on its desktop, so to speak. So it won't do you any good other than that. So here is how you're going to get into your device if you are in a loop. Power button and the up button at the exact same time. And you're going to hold that for five seconds. Now, here's a problem. Some tablets, I have a tablet, some tablets, the only way you can do this to get into the recovery mode is you have to push power button and the down button. Now, if the power button and the up volume button, when I say down button or up button, I mean volume up, volume down. If the power button and either the down or the up button doesn't work, then you will have to press the center of the up down button, i.e. both buttons at the same time, plus the power button. My system works with the power button and the volume down button. After you press the power button and the volume down button, the computer is going, or your tablet or tablet is going to give you the screen icon. Okay. Then it's going to give you that little Android bunny that's just laying on its back showing an error. Do not worry about that. That is normal. That should happen. What you're going to do now is you're going to press the power button and either the down button or the up button. So power button first, down button, up button. Let's uh, minimize Drew Hill. Okay. By doing that, that's going to get you in your recovery mode. You're gonna click on, it's gonna give you the options of how to select. You're gonna select and follow the instructions on the screen, recovery. It's gonna take you into the recovery settings. Once you get to recovery settings, do a factory reset. That should take care of your reloading and rebooting and all of that stupid stuff. However, however, this is what nobody else is telling you and what I'm going to do is give you this. You need to download Android Doctor Phone. 
do not download 9.0.9. .9. This is a joke. Do not download 9.1.2. That is a joke. Those That junk does not work. Do not do that. They're all jokes. Okay? This is the one you want. 8.3. Okay, this one works. Do, does the one that this individual is offering on this site, does this work? I can't tell you. I just know that 8.1.3 or 8.3.2, I believe it is. Yeah, 8.3.2 does work. Now, how do I know that 8.3.2 works? Like I said, none of the 9.0s work. Okay, watch this. Give you more of a brand. 8.3.2. And many of them are in foreign languages. You're not worried about the language, people. You just want the file. So this is the one, I believe this is the one that I have. And I wouldn't, I'm not too much worried about this one. Okay, I believe this is the one that I have. And I'm gonna cut off the voices because I don't need to, we don't need to hear the person talk. We don't need to hear them explain. This is simple. What you're gonna do, is you're simply going to go, oh, by the way, you need to read the comments. Sometimes they do not allow people to comment. What they do is they take out the comments, which lets you know that it has a virus and things like that. Okay. These two are just asking a question. Uh, and you don't have to worry about the options. Pay attention to this. Now, Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want this one. This one is uh, not the cracked one. So what I'm looking for, and I'll show it to you in a moment, is I'm looking for the 8.2.3, but I'm not looking for them to send me to that link. Okay? So I think I did go here. So I apologize to all of you for wasting those couple of minutes explaining that. But if I had not, I would not have been able to show you that you just oh, need to a file. You don't need the conversation. So don't worry about the fact that it's in a different language. See, it works. Thank you so much from Italy. This is the only tutorial working. Thanks for the crack. Okay. Read the comments. All right. And this individual literally. See, that's the unique thing. With YouTube, these wonderful people <laughs> will put the title of the video in English, but this one, he did his, he did his job. Solution, installation. Okay, so he put it in, de fonctionar. Okay, so he put it in both English and Espanol. So give the young man his credit. Most of them don't do that. Most of them will put it in English and the whole video will be in a different language. They'll put the title in English and the whole video will be in a different language. The only thing you want is this file, this file. That's it. You don't need anything else. You're going to load it up. It's going to come in a folder. It's going to have the setup file and it's going to have the crack file. The crack file is the instructions. You just take the crack file, which is going to be two folders, and you're just going to copy and paste those folders into the installation directory. That's it. Then you will have your ability. What you're going to do, I'm rooting my J7 Prime. It's not going to work. They don't have the, what you call it? They don't have this phone rooted yet. Not by any really good method. Okay, so now that you have that, you can root the device first. After you root the device, ladies and gentlemen, that's where this comes in as soon as it lets me. That's where you go here. You download the firmware. You put it on the SD card. I put mine on my SD card by simply, where is the firmware? Hold on one second so I can show you. Simply taking and dragging and dropping them onto my SD card. Once you drag and drop onto your SD card, and remember, keep the phone in the recovery mode after you root it with the wonderful software, uh, Dr. Phone. After you root it, keep it in recovery mode and or bring it back to recovery mode uh, per se because it's going to shut off and turn back on when you root it. Bring it back to recovery mode. Once you bring it back to recovery mode, 
what you're going to do and I'm going over here because I need to disconnect my SD card so that I can put it in the phone so that while in recovery mode I can select SD card and I can run the program and and the only thing was my phone was rooted but I was having I have a um, it's almost like a screensaver and it's I don't know how to remove the screensaver it's been irritating so I reformatted the system now I got to root it again so I figured I might as well do a video and show you guys however my stockware and oh that's the unique thing dr. phone will tell you the model of your phone and you just look for the firmware with the model that dr. phone shows you that's how I was able to find the firmware that's how I was able to find this site again the name of this site well this one is AndroidMTK.com, but you saw the other site and they're both linked because this site came from the other okay but this is where and they I promise you they got hundreds of different firmware and if you could only see now what I did initially I clicked on firmware and that didn't work I had to actually do a search for the firmware and that's what it did it took me to where I needed to be okay so AndroidMTK.com or firmware and you know what I don't know what the other site is give me a second so I can give you the exact title to the other site I said it at the beginning of the video and might as well say it again where are you at firmware hmm I think this is the site here but I can't tell so we're gonna go here just to make sure no this is metafile so no this is not the uh, that's not the firmware site give me a second people so that I can tell you exactly what site it is if I still have it if not you're gonna have to go back to the beginning of the video where I started talking about it yes because I don't see it you're gonna have to go to the beginning of the video where I first started talking about it to see where it is but again both this MTK and the original firmware are both associated with the same site okay my hope is that this will help some of you because I've been seeing that a lot of people are having problems with their Chinese brand phablets or tablets and I have a phablet and I haven't used it in maybe eight months but I'm getting ready to start using it because my phablet is my cell phone oh this is the I didn't even see this that's my fault page two is the where the other one was okay so it is still Android MTK I used another web address to get here but it is still Android ATK uh, uh, MTK and I want you to take a look at all the different models as we if it lets us scroll down okay these are just some of the models and they're in alphanumerical order meaning the letter E followed by D M is followed by N and so on and so forth all the way down to let's see if they have Z I don't think there's a Z but let's see nope W okay all of their ROMs are here and you have the 7.0 I actually was trying to see if mine would load up this custom stock ROM that is pretty much the same one for my model but it didn't so now I have to put in the actual stock ROM uh, because I didn't mind going to 7.0. I will eventually be able to mod my phone to 7.0, but I won't be able to do it now. Okay, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there is your tutorial on just this information here on how to get your so-called phablet tablet back up to speed. Have a good day, have a good life, have a good night.